All right, here we go. Nick is going to pour it in. I'm gonna move back. I'm gonna move back. This is Nick Juhas, and he's about to do an experiment. Here he is doing the same experiment with David Dobrik, but 625 times bigger. Okay, what are we doing? When these two mix, we basically have one second to clear away. This is the world record alpha toothpaste science experiment. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> it's called the elephant toothpaste experiment and it did over 215 million views, making it one of the most watched videos on TikTok of the year. Nick has been doing this experiment for years. Here's a quick background on Nick. He's a professional rollerblader turned full-time social media scientist. He was on America's Got Talent, The Today Show. Nick Juhas hosted the YouTube channel Nickopedia. And he has his own series on Netflix. Now, he has over 6.4 million followers on TikTok. Most recently, like we said, he was responsible for some of the most viral videos of last year, alongside David Dobrik. Go. Dobrik is arguably one of the biggest entertainers in the world right now, and he regularly calls Nick. We're here with Nick, our scientist friend. Because he knows the value of visual storytelling. Guys, Nick is here. We're playing with liquid nitrogen. Oh my God! <laughs> With apps like TikTok and Instagram dominating our scrolling culture, telling a story that relies heavily on visuals instead of audio has never been so important. So considering that Nick is the mastermind behind some of the most viewed videos on the platform, we decided to meet him and learn from the success that he's having. Welcome to the Nick Uhas Lab. This is a giant um, slingshot the Christmas Cannon 3000, a fire extinguisher that is also a flamethrower. With exposure to the outside air, it would catch on fire. Helium, pure methane, very pure sulfur. You could actually eat this if you wanted to. What do you mean you could eat that? Isn't that really dangerous? Yeah, that feels <laughs> like I've created the formula. <laughs> this comes in handy quite often. Oh! And of course, safety is always the number one priority. Right off the bat, Nick started off with an experiment that kind of freaked me out. Really breathe it in and then just start talking. Tell us where you're from, where your <laughs> name is. All right. You know, I gotta keep going, oh, gotta get more. Okay. Oh, oh my God, what is happening right now? Is this, <laughs> is this real? No. <laughs> what? That Holy shit. Is this working yet? Oh my gosh, now this is out of control. This is really freaking me out. Whoa. Woo! Nick. <laughs> that was one of the craziest things I've ever had. Yeah. yeah, that was insane. All right, so obviously we're with Nick and we have to do at least a mini version of elephant toothpaste. I feel like that's been something that Probably everyone has seen that video who's watching this. When David uploaded that video, it got something like 181 million views. For the year of 2019, TikTok rolled out like what was the most viewed video. And that was the most viral video of 2019. We decided to redo that experiment, but do it three times as big. That chemical reaction by itself is so interesting because it like defies what people think when they think of their, their natural world. It's growing out of what appears to be thin air. I think it looks like magic. Visually speaking, it, it like it transcended the English language or just audio in general. Oh my God! Oh my God! It's flying away! After spending some time with Nick, we realized that all of the viral videos he makes, whether it's on his own platforms or with David Dobrik, have one thing in common. They pass what we call the over the shoulder test. You can watch them over someone's shoulder and still find it interesting. All right, so here are the two key components that help you pass the over the shoulder test. Number one, the video has to be visually compelling. Now example of something that's not as visually compelling, two guys sitting in a car talking to you. It's not visual enough for me to care if there's no audio. Someone once told me what makes a viral video and they say it's as simple as creating something that no one's ever seen. Now that doesn't necessarily mean it has to be something that's never been done before. It just has to be presented to an audience that's never seen it before. The first thing I did when I got on TikTok was I Googled all my heroes. Are any of these people on here? And they were not. So I was like, this is the moment that I could leap ahead. Generation Z had literally never seen some of the things that are as old as science experiments like for television had been around. 
The second thing you need to pass the over the shoulder test is that you need to tell a story using only visuals. So you have to have a defined act one, act two, act three without the use of audio. So Nick, what are we about to do right now? So we're about to do the elephant toothpaste experiment. Colin, you feel safe? With Nick? Yeah, I feel safe. Hell yeah, you should. I mean, we inhaled <laughs> like some <laughs> random gas. This is really <laughs> freaking me out. And, and I'm still alive. So. <laughs> I mean, so far so good. All right, so we're staying out of the garage for this one because Nick said this, uh, this part of the experiment is uh, very dangerous. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> it's messed up. Oh, I kind of jumped there. I feel like elephant toothpaste is actually one of the best examples of storytelling. So you kind of have the setup, which is, okay, here's the two liquids. This is called the buildup. The tarp is going out. Experiment should happen pretty soon, but there's a lot of anticipation on our end here. Colin is all set to film this thing. Then you have the act two, which is like, all right, actually pouring it in there. All right, so here we go. And then the perfect act three, which is boom, the thing. Payoff. Yeah. Three, two, one, pour it all in. Whoa, that is wild. Look at that. That was so cool. That was amazing. I'm gonna watch that again and again and again. Yeah. This exact experiment, I feel like, is one of the best Embodiments. Embodiments of storytelling. Yeah, I never thought about that way, dude. That's, yeah, you're right. That's actually like perfect. All of these videos that pass the over the shoulder test are so unique to right now. We're living in this world of scrolling entertainment. Entertainment that's happening really rapidly and doesn't necessarily require our 100% attention. Like I'm sure so much of Instagram and TikTok is consumed in class where you have to scroll without audio and your teacher is talking to you or at home when your parents are talking to you at the dinner table, you're eating. There's so much happening while you're consuming entertainment. Oftentimes these videos are enhanced when the audio is turned on, but don't require it at all. Let's watch some highlights from Dobrik's channel without any audio. Even when you watch him gifting someone something, you totally understand the experience and you can see and feel the emotion without hearing anything. There's context, there's a buildup, and there's a payoff all happening purely just with visuals. We're not saying you should make silent films, but it is a good test to see if you are making content that people will find interesting on today's platforms. And this over the shoulder test seems to be a recipe for virality. Because this video is about visual storytelling, we want to take a second to thank our sponsor, Storyblocks. They have an entire library of incredible visuals that will help you tell a story. And they actually help us tell stories all the time. We needed some shots of coffee and people drinking coffee for our last video about Emma Chamberlain and her coffee company, and we grabbed those from Storyblocks. And Storyblocks doesn't just have visuals, they have everything you would need to tell a story. So that means music, that means graphics, and After Effects templates. They also have sound effects, like this one. That was weird. All of the content that you download is royalty free and you can use it anywhere, including YouTube. And they also have really flexible subscription plans. So if you're watching your budget, you can get the exact plan that you need to stay within it. So click the link in our description to check out Storyblocks. And when you sign up, you get unlimited access to a library of over 1 million assets. All right, happy storytelling. If there are any other YouTube creators that you think we should spend a day with, comment them below. Maybe like a magician or like a- You uh, love magic. I do love magic. You don't like magic? I'm okay with it. I, I prefer science over magic. I like magic. All right. If you're a magician, let's hang out. All right. All right. Peace. You know, Nick, the, uh, the gloves make this feel a lot more Breaking Bad. <laughs> well, I'm not going to show you the rest of the lab then.